everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I am doing a Best of Skincare 2019 today. I'm doing this in collaboration with two other beautiful women here on YouTube. That's Natalie, the Beauty Diva, and Beauty by Trish Oliver. They are also uploading today their Best of Skincare 2019 and I'll be linking their videos down below. If you're not already a subscriber to their channel, please subscribe before you leave their videos. And if you're not a subscriber here, hello, welcome. Welcome, and I would love to have you back. I upload videos once or twice a week, usually on Wednesdays and or Saturdays. I do videos in beauty, fashion, lifestyle, luxury, and styling, and today it's going to be, like I said, the best of skincare 2019. This is going to be an update to my Obagi and Retin-A that I started about two months ago. So if you like these kind of videos and you wanna see my update and what I think about the system, please keep watching. So I first heard about this system from Melissa55. Hi, Melissa. Um, I love your channel, and I watched a lot of your videos on Abaji, and so I thought I'm going to try this. Also, Mary Ellen After 60, and I love your videos as well on skincare. And of course, with Natalie, she's done a lot of Retin-A and skincare videos. So a lot of just like combinations of a lot of the women that I love on YouTube. And I decided to just go all in, just head first into this. And um, this is the package that I picked up. It was a starter kit and you get these smaller tubes in it. It's supposed to last two or three months. It lasted me three months. In fact, I made it kind of stretch a little bit further so I didn't have to pick up new uh, products when I was in last week. But this is the, the little box, as you can see, I emptied it. And this is the starter system that I did. All right, the first thing that I wanna tell you about is this foaming face wash. And this is the larger of the, this is, in the, this is the starter size, but I did pick up the larger one. I was almost out of the small, this is a two ounce. I was almost out of this after about two and a half months of using it twice a day. So it did last a long time. This one I think is gonna last me, gosh, this is six ounces. This is gonna probably last me all year long. This is a little pricey, it's about $100. I know, don't come for me, I know that's expensive but it did, does last, I think it's gonna last me for the rest of the year, using it twice a day. You use about a pea size, you just get some water on your hands, and then you just wash your face and your neck, and that's what I did. So I do love it, I do I think you need it? Maybe not, you know, you probably your Neutrogena foaming face wash would probably work, but I'm just sticking with it right now because I'm getting some good results. The next thing you put on is the toner, which is, this little two ounce guy, it did last me about two and a half months in the two ounce. And instead of putting on a cotton ball, I just put about this much in my hand and then just pat my face, my neck. So I did make it last longer because I did that. I still had good results, but I did make it last a long time. Who told me that? Mary Ellen after 60 talks about really stretching out so that you get your money's worth. Now, when I was on the dermis about four or five years ago, I did not use this. This is the clear or the bleaching agent that's supposed to get rid of like dark patches, which I don't have, but I do have freckling <laughs> and aids and, and wrinkles. So anyway, I have used this religiously twice a day. It's just a clear liquid. I use about this much, that's all I use. And I don't wanna waste it here. <laughs> It's kind of expensive. I did buy another one of the clear when I went back in last week because I passed this on to Jerry. I got Jerry on this now, but he gets my like my leftovers. I love this. I should have used it when I did the Dermis four or five years ago. Dermis four or five years ago. Then the next thing that you use, and you use this just during the day, and that's the exfoliator. It's exfoli exfoliderm. I use about the same amount that I used in the clear or the bleaching agent, and so I ooh, so I do. I, I didn't use this for the dermis either, so I didn't maybe didn't give it a chance. But I have been using the Obagi without fail every day twice a day if it says to, and I'm gonna tell you about my results here in a minute. So anyway, I use the Exfoderm, and it's just, it, it looks just like the bleaching agent, a little creamy white, and that again is all over my face, my neck, I avoid the area around my eyes. 
All right, the last thing that you use, and you do this once a day, and that is the blender, and you mix, I'm not gonna show you, but you saw what I did, just a little pea size, with the Retin-A, and I am still using 0.05%. I tried to up to the 10%, or the 10, the 0.1%, but my prescription was not for that, and I'd have to get another appointment with the doctor. Did not have time for that. And they said, well, you'll still get results if you use a .05. And I thought, you know, I'm still getting peeling going on, so yeah, we'll stick with that. So I did get another tube of this. This was about $100. I bought this last summer, and I just ran out of it. With the blender, the Retin-A goes further. So I, it's this little bitty tube, and it is... 0.07 ounces. Uh, when I used Retin-A years ago, I'd get a large tube of it. That was like $250. That was ridiculous. You can get Retin-A from pharmacies that are less expensive. This is the Obagi. If you've got a Retin-A provider that actually mixes it for you at the local pharmacy, you can get it for a lot less expensive. So call your dermatologist in the area. Find out if you can get a Retin-A prescription if you want to go on it. And then price it. That's what I would do. So I did get the Tretinoid Cream 0.05% and that's what I'm still using with the blender. And that's what these two are. All right. The last thing that I added to this, recently added, and that is their Obagi sunscreen, 50 SPF. Do you need it? Well, you need sunscreen. Do you need to use Obagi? I, I wouldn't think so, but I, I was just in there and I, I just got it. So anyway, a little pricey. I think it was like 40 something dollars, 50 something dollars. Too much to spend. You can go to a pharmacy, CVS or Walgreens or something and get a 50, 75, 70 uh, SPF sunscreen but I just picked this up and I was having some dry really dry patches around my eyes so they recommended I get <laughs> of course they did Obagi Elastoderm and this is eye cream and I've heard lots of different things about do you need an eye cream it's the same as a moisturizer you don't need them both but it's, I have noticed that those dry patches have gone away on my eyes so I'm going to keep using it will I buy it again maybe not it's not very much. It's, uh, I mean, it's not much quantity in this, 0.5 ounces, and uh, it's just kind of a light green cream, and I do put just a tiny bit on my fingers and then around my eyes, so I'm using that now. Here's what the results are so far, far from me. This is not a comfortable program, and don't let anybody tell you that it is. It is fire on your face. And what I found is if you back off for a couple of days and then then what happens is you lose the effect. So I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to not back off of it. And it, a couple of times it's like, oh, my skin. <laughs> and it did peel. I didn't go through peeling at, at about four weeks. And then I went through peeling again about eight weeks. And then I'm. this is almost my third month almost my third month and about every four weeks I go through a new skin cycle and here we go again I thought I was over this um, I did get a facial a hydro max dermabrasion facial about a week ago and she told me not to use it for about four days I haven't put it back on again and that was about five days ago because I'm gonna film this video and I thought you know I'm gonna back off for five days and then I'm gonna get this awful peeling for this camera I didn't have time for that so I'm going to start it again tomorrow, and I'm going to, if you watch me on Insta Stories, and I'll link that below if you want to follow me on Instagram, or Snapchat, sometimes I'll upload on that, you'll get me like, ah, because it was really, really rough. The results, though, I can't say enough about the results. When I went to get this program at first, and that was with my hydro, my, my hydro dermabrasion facial in October, like mid-October, they did a your phone this close to my face and they said we want to get a before picture oh god no makeup on right next to my face but i will never look at that picture well we went back last week and got another facial and they did those pictures again and then they made me look at the beginning i couldn't believe the difference honest to goodness i could not believe the difference of the texture of my skin I had a lot of freckling, like a lot of freckling before that I kind of didn't notice because I don't look that close, but they showed the difference and my skin was so much improved. The texture, the quality, 
the hydration of my skin. Couldn't believe the difference. So I'm a huge fan. I'm sold out on it. They're going to have me do this until like mid-July. Then they want you to take a break. And at that point, they're going to put me on retinol and the CF. C folic acid so I'm gonna stay on something but I'm gonna take a break from all of this and then maybe three or four months later start it all over again uh, I started using retin-a way long time ago like in the 90s and I, I, I know that Melissa you've done that I wish I would have kept it up my advice to you is if you want to try it try it and stick with it it is not gonna be fun for a while but the results are so worth it. So anyway, that is my skincare update. This is my skincare best of 2019. It's all my obagis. I'm loving all of it. And uh, I'm even, all of it. Don't know if I'll stay with the eye cream. I will, the next time I need this will probably be next summer. I will up the, to the 1%. So I'm going to be doing these updates maybe every quarter to just kind of keep everybody updated and what I think about it and if I think it's worth it. So far, I cannot believe the results. I hope you like these kind of videos. I love doing these labs with Natalie, and I'm so excited that Trish is here with us on this one. So we have a we have a three-party go away today, and um, I'm going to link their videos below. Go back if you didn't see the makeup best of 2019 or best makeup of 2019. I'll link those all those videos below. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in to my best of skincare 2019, my Obagi and my Retin-A update. I love the program. I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> Even though it's a little painful at times, I love the results. Uh, I will be linking everything down below that I can find. And also Natalie's video and Trisha's video to find out what they are picking for their favorite or best of skincare of 2019. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you later. Bye.